folks in the house coming to you on a Sunday evening. Hope everybody's having a good weekend and uh, just get ready for another work week. Uh, enjoy. Um, yeah, weather has been uh, nice the last couple of evenings uh, to go outside and uh, just relax a bit. So that's been kind of nice. Um, so it, it's been uh, pretty good. Uh, garden wise, uh, cucumbers are coming up. Uh, a couple of those have come off. Uh, still getting cherry tomatoes pretty good. And uh, have a chance for some green beans, another uh, round of those. So that's good. And then tomato plants are doing good. Uh, pepper plants are going, but they're smaller this year, it seems like. I don't know if it's just because we had so much rain in the beginning of the summer, uh, June. We basically, until it got to July, we kind of dried out a little bit. Not sure if that caused things to slow growth in peppers or what. Uh, they seem a little smaller this year, but they're growing. Um, gladiola plants uh, have been decent this year. Uh, the gladiola flowers, um, never really had luck with them. Uh, first time that uh, had success. Uh, kind of been thing is they didn't grow all at one time. It's been like one would grow and then another one. So while well, that one's dying another one's growing. So it didn't, it would be nice if, you know, three or four of them would you know, bloom at the same time. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's about, uh, that for, um, outside of movie talk, I guess for today. Uh, so, um, gonna talk a little horror and sci-fi fantasy movies for the evening. Um, going to do a martial arts yesterday, but uh, the movie ended up being a downer, so I kind of <laughs> threw me off. I guess I could throw that in there, but uh, didn't really do the research from a movie. But uh, yeah, kind of, <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it in my, when I do martial art action movies, I guess. Um, oh, and thanks to everybody that's a subscriber and every once in a while checks my YouTube. So I, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. I get a kick out of it, something different to do. And uh, again, going to obscure movie, I throw in some mainstream movies here and then. Um, some, maybe some movies that it's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that movie. Maybe that'll ring a bell or something like that. Uh, so um, I guess start with horror flicks. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, Dog Soldiers, a werewolf movie. Um, 2012, uh, 2002, sorry about that. Uh, 6.8 was its rating. Uh, rating does its uh, job. Uh, basically, a military exercise in Scotland totally goes off uh, the grid on, and, and changes into a totally different story. Um, it does all right. Um, if people that uh, enjoy werewolf movies um, looking for... Eh, it works. It works. Um, I think it was uh, produced in the UK, uh, England. Um, and I keep uh, one thing I noticed is some of my movies. I forgot to. I'd mentioned the movie and then I forgot to give some names. So uh, try to do. It seems like once I get a couple of the movies out, then the next couple movies I forget to do the names and what they're associated with on present projects or. Their last words. Um, Sean Pertwee um, is in this movie, and uh, basically he's in Gotham, or was in Gotham. Um, and he did a movie that I enjoyed, uh, kind of a horror flick uh, on one of my previous videos. It's one of my earlier ones, um, Wilderness. Um, so that one's a, for this movie, that, that wouldn't be a bad uh back-to-back um, -back movie, uh, Dog Soldiers in Wilderness for if somebody's looking for um, United Kingdom, England uh, horror flicks. Um, so if you're looking for something a little different, uh, they work. And then uh, Emmy, Emma Leesby is in this. Uh, hasn't done much uh, uh, recently. Last movie, 2013 Soulmates something that uh, she did. 
Um, next horror flick, uh, Zombie Apocalypse, uh, 2011. Got a four, and I don't know if it's just because there's been so many zombie movies out there. Um, more or less, it's on the take of The Walking Dead. Um, so if you're looking, instead of watching 50 episodes of Walking Dead or whatever, you can watch the movie uh, Zombie Apocalypse and be done in under two hours or more or less a beginning to finish type of movie. Um, I don't know. I, I think it deserves maybe a five instead of a four. Um, Bing Rames is in this and uh, recently did some uh, father figures, uh, something that he did. And then uh, Harren Manning is in this and uh, recently is doing Orange is the New Black. So. Again, if you're looking for a Walking Dead type movie, uh, this this will take care of you. Um, I think it's it it's worth watching. Uh, like I say, I, I thought the uh, for the most part the storyline works and uh, the actors get seem to mesh together. It's I thought so. Um, now go to sci-fi. Um, 2012 Supernova. Uh, 2009, this was done. It's got a 2.2. <laughs> I didn't think it was a 2.2, but wow. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to give it that bad of a, a rating, but uh, seeing it, that I don't know. Um, basically, uh, checked on it, Supernova. Basically, star explodes and ejects its mass. And so the Earth has to deal with that. And the the world, China, Russia, and the United States have to work together on uh, solving the problem. And as you can see, again, those three to work together. Yeah, right. Uh, so there's something there. Um, yeah, the 2.2. Um, wow. <laughs> I'll give it a four. I'll, I'll move it to the zombie apocalypse rating that it got. So everything's getting a little higher uh, rating on me, but uh, yeah, it's something if you you're not missing anything if you don't watch it. Uh, Brian Krauss is in this. Uh, recently did Hollywood uh, Con, and Heather McComb uh, recently did something dating to kill. That kind of sounds a little interesting. I think I even saw a preview somewhere on it. Um, basically, it sounds like. The daughter ends up dating an older guy that knew her mother, and there were problems. It sounds that way. Kind of, so if I remember right, it did seem a little, storyline seemed a little interesting. And then my last one, uh, kind of a fantasy, um, The Last Winch, Witch Hunter, um, 2015. It got a six uh, rating, and um, basically... The last witch hunter on the world. Uh, basically, he gets uh, cursed to walk the planet or never die. And there's a storyline to it that comes at the end and what's going on for real. Um, you have to kind of, the thing is, is kind of nice. You have to watch the whole movie to get to the point of the story. Um, it holds its own. Uh, Vin Diesel's in this, Fast and Furious. And then Elijah Wood is in this, uh, and he did something come to daddy recently. Um, so those are the movies for uh, Sunday evening. Again, um, hey, if there's new people out there, wouldn't mind uh, some new subscribers. Um, any kind of feedback. Um, you saw any of my uh, movies, uh, more or less I stream these, uh, is the ones that aren't popular. Some of them that are. I do stream those, the popular ones. But uh, yeah, um, kind of go the obscure movie, trying to, you know, find those uh, diamond in the rough type movies. Uh, not so much, but every once in a while you catch a movie that's not bad. And uh, no, don't mind sharing that. And uh, hope everybody has a great upcoming week. And uh, hey, enjoy the summer while it's uh, still going on, people. Uh, coming to uh, a close pretty short soon. 
Um, so have a good one. Take it easy.